Okay, guys, during this video, I'm gonna to explain to you when someone says the price is too high, a word track you can say that literally takes them from here and moves them over to here. This is called the unfair advantage. Also, at the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna break down some pricing strategies with you whenever people kind of get to you with negotiating. And then I'm also gonna to talk to you about it when you're outside on the lot. This is a video that will change the game for you. Get ready. Okay guys, so this is the video where I'm gonna have you understand price for the rest of your life. This is gonna be amazing, okay? The, the four things that every salesperson, the basic, the foundation of being a great salesperson would be price, trade, payments, I'll get back with you and I need to think about it. Those four things, every person should be lethal at and know that works in the automotive industry and works at a car dealership, okay? This video is gonna cover price. Now, before I get into this word track, which you're gonna love, and I'm gonna show you how to take a customer from here and move them over to here, okay? I like to negotiate with people on grounds that they're not familiar with. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that this time, and I'm gonna show you how to be lethal at it, and this is gonna help you just crush your competition. We're gonna destroy everybody. Um, but you got to learn them with the word tracks. You have to memorize them. That's part of this, okay? And we're going to get to that. But let's let's just talk about during a negotiation. I bring out no numbers to somebody. I say, hey guys, great news. You know, sign here, five nine nine a month, eighteen nine is the price, 8000 for your trade. Let's say the guy says, hey Andy, I think the price is too high. What I'll always do, step one, is that I check for smoke on the paper. Because listen, if you're in a store anywhere around the country right now, most people, when they say the price is too high, what they mean is that, that they think that if the price was to come down, the payment will come down too. They're really payment buyers. So I start out and I say, hey, other than price, okay, are you okay with the payments? And if they say, uh, no, also the payments are too high, boom, I go straight into a payment close. I never talk about price again. But if they say, no, nah, Andy, I'm really not worried about the payments. I just think the price is too high. Then I'll say, oh, okay, um, when you say the price is too high, would you mind being a little more specific why you think the price is too high? That gives me the second part, which would be like, hey, Andy, I think that the price is too high because I saw one $1,500 less down the street at ABC Motors. Okay, that's a motive, right? And I can beat that deal with purchase price versus ownership price. That's a whole different video. That is how I'd handle if there's a motive. And they said, hey, Andy, I just think the price is too high, right? And somebody's just probing for a better deal. Well, then I would go into the, hey, I apologize. You know, this is completely my fault. I didn't explain our pricing policy to you up front. And then I go into that close that you guys see me use all the time if you follow me. It's lethal. This is a very simple price objection video. You can take this and tie this in anywhere. I you can use this inside negotiating. You can use this outside on the lot. So play this with any scenario. Just learn the word track, okay? So I'm gonna step back for a minute. I'm gonna kind of go through the scenario with you. I want you to read the objection, right? Which is, Andy, I think the price is too high. And then I want you to see the word track. Actually, I want you to pause the video and write it down so you can memorize this. Remember, 90% of what's written will be retained, okay? So let me back out of here so you guys can see the whole screen. Hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. Okay, customer says, hey Andy, I think the price is too high. I respond back, hey, I understand. Is it the price or the cost that you're saying is too high? The customer says, I don't understand, or what do you mean? This is the red. This is your customer, okay? Customer says, Andy, the price is too high. Andy says, I understand. Is it the price or the cost? Look at this. This is where I move them from here to unfamiliar territory. I say, hey, I understand, Mr. Customer. Number one, we always agree. I understand, okay? Is it the price? or the cost that you're saying is too high. I know they don't know what I'm talking about. I say, I understand, so is it the price or the cost that you're saying is too high? And they say, I don't understand. I say, great, let me explain. You see that? And then this is where we move them. Now watch this, okay? They say, I don't understand. I start out by saying right here, let me explain. Some people can beat us on price. But watch this, when I show you this right here, I want you to understand this. I'm not trying to compete with another dealership. I'm not trying to say that I'm the cheapest in the country, okay? I don't want to be the cheapest. Do you wanna buy cheap stuff? Neither do I. So understand this, my goal is, is that I actually want to tell people, hey, it's okay if I'm high in price. Look, as long as I'm high in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family, I don't have to be the lowest in price, right? 
I can be the highest in value, and guess what? I can be higher in price, but I can actually be lower in cost. You know, did, are the companies right now that are the highest in business, right? Are they the lowest in cost? No, great business doesn't work that way. You guys can afford to have higher prices than your competitors and still win, and this word track will beat them. Let me step back out, but I wanted to make sure that everybody understands I'm not trying to match or beat somebody. I'm trying to say, hey, I can be higher, but I'm the lowest in cost, and that's where I'm gonna take my customer. So let's restart. The price is too high. I understand. Is it the price or the cost that you're saying is too high? Uh, Andy, I I don't understand what you mean. Let me explain. Some people can beat us on price, but no one can beat us on cost. You see, price is just a one-time thing and cost is a lifetime thing. 99% of our customers who say that their money is their biggest concern believe that the cost is what matters most. You notice how I'm using the familiar, uh, familiarity clothes here, okay? Right? Some people can beat us on the price, which is saying, hey, I'm not gonna play the price game with you, but no one can beat us on cost. You see, price is a one time thing, right? That's just today, but the cost is a lifetime thing. Listen, 99% of our customers who say that money is their biggest concern, Mr. Customer, like you, you know what they've agreed? That the cost is what matters most. That the ownership cost is much more important than just the price. The price is a one-time thing. The cost is a lifetime thing. And you can go into how great you service your cars, what your dealership offers. You can go back into selling your store and you don't have to be the cheapest in price. You don't have to be. You never want to be the cheapest in price. It's a miserable game, okay? You want to be able to hold your gross up and give people reasons and excuses why they should pay it. And the guy says, I don't understand. Watch this real quick. Okay, so check this out. Let's say that you have the perfect car for your daughter over here. It's $4,500, right? But you find another one that's $3,000, so it's a little bit less, and you decide to go ahead and buy it. Well, guess what? There's this nice $4,500 car over here, but you bought a $3,000 one. You buy that $3,000 car, you drive down the road, six months from now, the transmission goes out. Costs $3,000 to fix. Let me ask you a question. How much did the car cost you? $3,000 or $6,000? Guy says $6,000. I say, right, but what was the purchase price? He says $3,000. So your purchase price can be much lower than your ownership cost. So since that, that, that's the real money, that's the real concern to most people that say, hey, money's most important to me. When I hear you say that price is too high, what I hear you say is that money's a real concern for you. And if money's a real concern for you, we need to be, per, we need to be focusing on the cost, not on the price. And guess what? You start to move people to negotiate on your terms, on unfamiliar, unfamiliar territory new area. Everybody is great at saying, hey, your car's 18. I want to get it to 17. I'll say, hey guys, look, whether it was 18 or 17, the price is a one-time thing, but the cost is a lifetime thing. Let me ask you this. What's your average trade cycle? Three to four years? Okay, cool. So the price you pay today is important, but really the whole money that you spend over the entire time that you own it, isn't that the real money spent? Yeah. Well, guess what? If I spend a little more money on my car, to, you know, servicing it, making it like new for you and your family versus the competition over there at ABC Motors, can I be a little higher in price as long as I'm lower in cost? And in the end, you don't have that time and inconvenience in the service station like the other store with the lower dangling carrot price that you bite on and you think you're getting the better deal, but small problems create big problems. And next thing you know, you're spending more money that you didn't expect to. Man, guys, this is the way to deal with pricing that your competition isn't handling it this way. If you want to be the elite, 2020 new age training, this is the way to go. Guys, make sure that if you haven't set up a strategy call with me and my team, it's free. We set them up. It's 20 minutes. It's a free strategy call. You click the link below down in the description box. We join you. We help you crush it. Go to the next level. It costs nothing. Just make sure you show up on time. Let's kick butt. Everybody keep up the training. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just want to tell you, number one, I appreciate you. And anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free. It takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.